Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shannon, and if you're returning, thanks for coming back. So, today I am trying out Kinky Curl. Um, for the longest time, I literally thought this product was for like little girls, how they had the little girl brands like Just For Me Kids and all of this. Um, but it's not, totally not for all hair types, um, for curly hair and everything. So today I decided to try these out. Um, I'm super excited. I've literally never tried this product. I never thought about buying this product, nothing, because like I said, I thought it was for kids, so I never tried them. But today I am going to be trying it out, seeing everything, seeing if I liked it, if I suggest it or not. So if you're interested in that, please continue to watch. And if you enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. All right, so as I said, today I am reviewing Kinky Curl, not today, which is a natural leave-in detangler and original curling custard. Um, this one, I believe, was $16.99, the curling custard, and this one was $11.99. So, um, their Shea Moisture and Cantu products are cheaper than they are, um, but when you compare them to all the other brands that are there, they're not, like, completely out of left field. They're, they're all right, pricing-wise. Um, so let's read what the natural leave-in is supposed to do. Can't get that comb to glide through your hair? Well, not today. This creamy herbal conditioner is enriched with botanical extracts and is designed to smooth and to remove knots, snarls, and detangles from thick, curly hair. Um, directions apply generously and work through troubled sections with a wide tooth comb. And they also have um, directions for whether you have thick, coarse curls or loose, wavy curls. I'm like in between that, but maybe, I guess I'll go with the wavy curls. Um, use a moderate amount as a rinse out or leave a little on the ends before applying kinky curl styling products. So there's that. And then the curling custard, this is the one that I keep hearing great things on. I didn't really hear that much about this one, but they only had... Um, the store I was at, they had this, this, and then they had like their um, cleansing, so like their shampoo type of thing, but they didn't have any other products. So I wanted to get both of those so I could re try to at least group them together and review them together. Um, so this one is an instant transform thick dry, f instantly, sorry, transform thick dry frizzy hair into silky spirals and wonderful waves this advanced botanical formula will eliminate frizz good brilliant sign yada yada um this says use regularly curling custard will help maintain your hair moisture balance and reduce breakage resulting in longer healthier hair and yeah uh, directions again they have it for the thick coarse hair and the loose wavy curls which honestly with all the products I've been reviewing it doesn't it doesn't give two different sets of directions so that's kind of cool um, so for mine apply to damp or wet hair scrunch into medium sections of hair flip head upside down to create more volume and body tip to achieve ultimate curl definition and length not today Do -do -do, this one May be used to as a leave-in conditioner before applying curling custard, which is interesting because that, for its thing, said to just put it at my ends or to rinse it out. So, yeah, um, let's put it in. You guys see, I finally went and got a new freaking spray bottle. Finally, it took me long enough. But my hair was already damp. I'm just gonna damp it a little bit more. But I have work this morning, so I don't wanna overdo it but you guys know you know all right so like normal i'm going to section my hair off and i'm gonna do it i'm so i'm gonna follow both of the instructions i'm gonna use a little bit of the knot today in each section but i'm gonna focus this more at my end like that said so yeah we're gonna put it in my ends. 
I have a stuffy nose, but you can still smell this. It's like, mm, almost like, it doesn't, it's not something I, I recognize really, to be honest. I don't, I don't know what to compare it to. And then the curling custard smells almost like a flower, flowerly or sweet type of smell. And it's interesting because this, when I use um, other, any type of gel that's not in a squeeze bottle or a pump like the Camille Rose, um, I always assume it's going to be really thick or like just kind of suck. Um, but this is, when you take it out with your finger, it is like extremely not thick at all. I mean, it's thick enough to do what it needs to do, I'm assuming, but it... It has a good touch to it, which I know sounds kind of odd, but it's the truth. And then I had a okay, t-shirt that was scrunchy. Okay, so I'm going to go through my sections of hair, and I will be right back as soon as I finish putting this through. Everything. Alright, so it's in. It's good. Um... <clears throat> so usually when I use products in my hair, um, especially, I'm telling you, I like have this like stereotype about products that come in containers like this. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. They're usually really thick on my curls and they annoy me. <laughs> but on a positive, great note, this is super light. Um, I know it goes with how much you use, so I feel like I used a good amount um, between the sections in my hair and my hair still feels really I mean as light as can be expected since it is wet and has product in it but I'm not I'm not mad at it right now um a lot of the times when I try out new products I can kind of tell when it's wet um if my curls are feeling dry if it's too thick if I just I feel like it's not gonna dry right but this feels I have fingers crossed I have high hopes for it so I am going to go because it's cold outside i'm gonna go use my diffuser um get this dried in and i will be back on my final thoughts about kinky curl all right so it is dried i am what do you guys call this i call it picking it out do you call like i, I don't know anyway picking it out um so what do I think about kinky curl? Kinky, kinky, kinky curl. Okay, so a little recap in case you just fast forwarded and want to know if it worked or not. Uh, I use kinky curl not today and I also use kinky curled original curling custard. This one retails for $11.99 as this one retails for $16.99. You get eight fluid ounces in this, and you also get eight fluid ounces in this, but you're paying five dollars more for this one. So, there you go. So, like I said, when my hair was wet, the product itself is super light. Um, they're both cruelty free, which is nice. They have a little, you know, money. Um, the ingredients are good. Everything about them are setting setting them up for like success. Um, the price range, I think for the curling custard, just because I use um, Cantu a lot and you get a lot of product for $16.99, um, I think it's a little high. But with that said, it's not it's not crazy. Um, I definitely don't it I don't think it should stop somebody from trying it out. I'm sure there are coupons, things like that, and plus it's $16.99 is not the end of the world. This is drying a little weird. I'm gonna just spritz that. Okay, so um, my hair feels extremely light. I feel like I don't have any product in it, but obviously you can see that I do. Get a little close up in there, you know. Um, my curls feel great. They dried really well. Um, when I have a lot of thick product in my hair, it takes me a minute, even with my diffuser, to get it to dry. And then I feel like I'm killing my hair. So, but this dried super, super easy. I'm going to say super a lot. I just realized that. Um, but I totally... Um, the not today, I didn't try it as a detangler um, because I don't... I didn't brush it through my hair. I used it more as the natural leave-in uh, for the ends of my hair. 
and I used to not today for all over and I so far am loving the product I'm loving everything about it I think this is gonna be my new favorite duo um, I really don't have any complaints this one smells a little funky but like I said my nose is stuffy so maybe it smells great and I'm just getting a weird scent off of it I highly suggest them I found these at my local grocery store so I'm sure they are sold I'm pretty sure they have them at Target um, I'm not I'm not sure about Walmart I didn't I didn't look but I'm pretty sure that they have like everything I buy at my grocery store at Target or you of course you can get them online and they might be even cheaper because like I said I bought them from my grocery store so you know they be marking up some things and you never know but I'm I'm obsessed I'm really obsessed I love these I think I might love this more than the Camille Rose the Camille Rose is retailed for $22 and this one you get 12 fluid ounces so it is bigger um and i do i highly recommend this product as well but yeah so if you are in the realm of looking for a new product with you know it being cold and everything and you want your curls super defined i highly suggest going and picking picking up if anything at least the curling custard and then you can throw in your own leave-in conditioner if you have one that you love but if you're looking for a whole new duo highly 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 I cannot I'm seriously obsessed right now I'm probably gonna be using these for a while so yes I hope you guys enjoyed I hope that you guys are enjoying 2018 I can't believe like we're already in the middle if not like middle end what's today that I don't know the middle end of the month it's gone by so quick but anyway, before I get on to that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, if you did, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.